What's up you guys? It's me Jay Bella and we're back again for another video. So today's video is going to be an unconventional hair review and as you can see your girl done did something. She done did something okay. She done did something. I know y'all probably like um mm, sis. What is what, what, what are we doing? What is this? What is that? Is that a bang? Is that a bang? It's a bang sis. But it's on period. It's okay. It's all right. Cause Carisha, please, Carisha, please believe that this hair done came a long way. Okay, literally, because baby, from China to here, and then from example A, Goldilocks too. <laughs> Goldilocks, who's gonna who's gonna let her stay like that? And then you know we tried. We really tried to bring her, bring her to this point, but we wasn't take steps trials and tribulations okay and I am the experiment queen okay experiment queen I'm going to try something try it again see if I like it try it a third time throw it away bring it back you know cuz it wasn't giving so then we have example B example B yeah I know 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 why why who did you who did I think I was so after multiple FaceTime calls my friend told me she was just like girl just die of blue what you originally wanted to do just dye blue and so that's what i did i'm gonna give y'all the details on this hair first and then i'm gonna tell y'all how i got it this color okay stay tuned i got this hair off of aliexpress the company's name is thoroughly hair official store i'll put a visual up here so you guys can see it um but yeah so this hair is the color 27 um clearly it comes with a bang hang is 150 density and it originally was 14 inches it's probably like eight inches now um sis had to go had to get cut she had to turn into a new woman she had to grow she had to grow as a person because it wasn't it that's um are the details of this hair and i'm going to tell you how i got it this color so i originally decided that i wanted the base to be a platinum color so I used this hair dye. Um, I don't have the original bottle because I threw it out once I was done with it. But I did use the entire bottle. And I used the water method to dye it. When using the water method, when it comes to certain hair colors, I've noticed that it can sometimes still be patchy. So once I took it out that water, there were certain areas that were like silver or grayer than others. And then some of them had like this yellow undertone, which was ugly. So I thought, oh, if I covered it up, then maybe it wouldn't look the way it looked and it, it wasn't any better. So when I decided to cover it up, I used this color. It is 186 Rich Eggplant. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, boom, bam, there we go. Thank you, ma'am. And I did that in this area, this area, and then I, I uh, yeah, I, like I said, I was experimenting. Pinterest really make you feel like you that girl and you can do that. Sometimes you are that girl. You are that girl, but you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. So. That's the color I used originally. So then I was just like, okay, if I want to do blue, I really didn't have like a navy blue color. All I had was this color and, oh, you can't even see it. All I had was this color and this is clover and one, or the number is 165. And I did it, I've used this hair dye before and I look like a mermaid. And I was like, I don't, I didn't like it before and I'm not gonna like it now, so what can I do? What can I do? So what I did was I mixed clover dye in first and then I got it to like a color like I didn't put a lot I probably put like one or three drops in and then I slowly started to add the rich eggplant color and literally I'll put one drop in mix it see what it looks like do a little test put two drops in mix it do a little test I probably put in like three or four dyes until I was happy and then I submerged my hair in there I took out the first time it's a lighter shade than this and I wasn't really happy with that so I mixed in some more eggplant color I really just like swirled it in there you know mixed it together and dipped it again and then this is how or that's how it got to this color um when I noticed actually the purple areas I was kind of like discouraged but then I was like oh you know what it kind of looked iridescent Ooh, who you don't know what color she really is type thing so hopefully you guys like it and um the next time i do an unconventional hair review i'm gonna also try to make it a tutorial this time around i didn't because like i said i'm an experiment queen and i really didn't know how this one was gonna turn out so i didn't even know who we were gonna get to this point where i had her own taking pictures in her like i didn't think it was gonna get here 
So I didn't film this one, but I promised to film the next one. And it will be a review slash tutorial so you guys can see how I got my next little hairdo. Also, comment below, what should we name her? I'm going to let y'all virtually adopt her. Okay, we just uh, virtually, it's only virtual. She is mine. But y'all can personally like adopt her, watch her on the weekends type thing. So I'm going to let y'all adopt her and name her in the comments below. So go ahead, do that. And tune in next time for my next unconventional hair review and tutorial.